Hi guys, so this is week two of the Paintry Challenge. It's Tuesday today and uh, I think it's the 17th. I think so. <laughs> I'm having tea, it's three o'clock. And I wanted to show you, I probably should have filmed this. Yesterday, really late, I decided to make this cake from the Barefoot Contessa and this is the recipe. You can take a screenshot of it. And I decided to add like a raspberry jam in between, like in the layers, because I have, I think I had blueberries that were from Costco that were so old. They are like all freezer burn and I really did not want to fruit them out and I wanted to try them in the cake and they're fine. Let me show so you. So here's the cake. I mean, it doesn't look that great, but look how jammy that is. And it's super super soft so i layered the cake i did some blueberries then some jam some more cake blueberries and jam so we've been kind of like cutting it so unevenly but it tastes really yummy and i'm debating about what to have for dinner and um i don't want to make a lot again like that lamb curry we've had this for like three days and i'm just i got tired of that that was too much i just want to make sure that we make just enough for dinner, maybe some leftover if we want to or not, and then, you know, uh, make some I'm other. I'm not really sure what I'm going to make. I know I have some spring mix from like two weeks ago. I need to check if it's still good and uh, really see because usually uh, Cliff sometimes has lunch at work and uh, then I don't have to make him lunch or specific lunch so then i get to eat whatever i want it's probably if we don't have any leftover for lunch tomorrow for me i'll probably just have like one of the burrito that i made as you know freezer meal but i'm really debating and i really have a long list of different recipes that i wanted to make but if i keep making too much food for us and we have tons of leftovers then i wouldn't be able to go through the different recipes and uh, i really want to make sure i make at least half so of what them. are you guys making are you doing any pantry challenge um any of that stuff i actually really enjoy that because i noticed like what before i started doing like the whole challenge thing i i cleaned up my freezer here and the one down in the laundry room and I literally was so surprised in how much food we have in there that I forgot about and I think it's ever since we started going to Costco again it's just Costco sells so much and for the two of us that's so, too much food and we forget that we have things because you know there's so much of it that you can eat and we don't eat a lot so we're stuck with it for months just like we just I think for Chris or in Christmas time we got like breakfast sausages there, chicken breakfast sausage, and we haven't even opened it. They're so, so excited wonderful. to make falafel uh, tacos. I have some corn tortilla here that's been in the fridge forever. I think I got those at Trader Joe's about three months ago, and they're still good. I just tested one, and I get those falafel at Whole Foods in the frozen section, and it comes in like this, and you have to fry it. They're very very good. So that's what yeah, this is what dinner looks like. We have some fries also. And uh, I think we might have some Nando sauce with the fries. I'm not sure. But it smells really good and we're ready to eat. Hi guys. So today is Thursday and I am having dinner solo because Cliff has another really important work uh, dinner. And uh, somehow I'm not making dinner again. Um, I'm having some fish squares. I get those from Whole Foods. I'm having it on some ciabatta and maybe some avocado on it and some maybe Nando's. See how that goes. And yesterday I didn't make dinner because we went to my mother-in-law's house and had dinner with her. It was amazing. And tomorrow for sure I'll be making dinner because we are going to be both home. And uh, I don't really know what I'm making yet, but... I will show you. I also wanted to show you this book. I actually, Cliff got me this book and it is a coloring book and I've been really enjoying it. I um, 
noticed that it really helps me with like my stress and anxiety and all of that and just like I do one drawing a day maybe it takes me about 30 minutes of my day while I'm having tea to just calm my mind relax and just try to just you know be calmer and not too stressed out and this is what kind of helps me with my anxiety so if you are like me and you have anxiety and your uh, stress maybe this can help you too so all the dishes very very nice i mean i'm it's very pretty i mean it's like this i did this one today but like there's so many of them also this is going to be the topping of choice i'm going to put some paranese on the fish and some nando sauce uh, my mother-in-law sent me home with this box of spring mix because she prefers to have iceberg lettuce and um, she bought it because we were there and she knows that we love spring mix instead so she sent me with the rest and that is what I am going to top my filet of fish So with. this is my dinner guys so I'm getting ready to eat this and I'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys so today is Friday and I made some mashed potato, some chicken with a creamy tarragon sauce. I definitely should have filmed this. The leftover salad and some garlic bread. So that's what we're having for dinner and I'll see you tomorrow to show you what uh, will be Saturday's Hi guys day. so today we are having roast chicken from the store we did break our no buy because i have a terrible migraine so cliff got a salad for me and a roast chicken and that's all the condiment we're having with it hi guys so this is sunday chinese new year and the end of week two we're having some lo mein rice some crispy shrimp some spring roll some bok choy that i overcooked a little bit and some grapes